set Super Bowl 13 in the HFL sponge jumps versus the Predators sponge jumps been here before as a matter of fact they're returning to the Super Bowl for a second straight year if they were to lose the Super Bowl they will be now known as the sponge bills. And taking a look around the league, the finger pointing at laser camp, or should I say laser pointing, has begun at the lasers facility. Trying to figure out just where they went wrong and why their team took an enormous shit this past Sunday. Also, here are some images, very, very disturbing images, from the Red Dogs facility. There has definitely been a breakout, confirmed, of chocular spongitis. Details still rolling in. And with us now, live on the phone, head coach of the Red Dogs, Ron Curvello. Coach, when and how did you know your team was infected with chocolate spongitis? Yeah, Bob, I know exactly when and where the dogs came down with chocolate spongitis. Uh, Tuesday was press day. Uh, there was a sponge weekly descent writer that was, uh, I caught him taking pictures of the practice. Later on, I caught him in the parking lot and uh, smacked the camera out of his hand. There, there was the cross contamination. Wow. Later on, thanked my team in the locker room individually for getting the Red Dogs to the playoffs again and personally handshake everybody, and that's where it happened, Bob. Uh, Coach, before you go, let me ask you who are you picking for the Super Bowl this year? Who's your winner? Uh, who's going to win the HFL Bowl, Bob? I gotta go with the Predators, and the uh, reason why is Sponge still has not proven that he he can win the big game. He's he's one loss away from being the Buffalo Bills of the HFL. Thanks, Coach. And now let's take a live look in at Predator Cam. And that's all for this week's. Bob Charles Show, Super Bowl edition. I'm Bob Charles, and you're not.